in my previous video, I told you about what reactive power is without using math at all. But today, I'm going to analyze reactive power by using math to reveal the identity of reactive power more clearly. You don't have to be nervous. I'm not going to use difficult math like complex number or differential and integral. We are going to use simple trigonometric functions. Okay, let's get started. You apply voltage on a certain circuit and you have this relation. The current is out of phase with the voltage by theta. What will active and reactive power be like in this case? This equation will give the value of the instantaneous electric power. And this is the graph. We are going to analyze this electric power. Firstly, we need to describe the voltage. And this is the expression. What about the current? The current is this. So, the instantaneous electric power becomes this. I just multiplied the voltage by the current. If we expand this, we will be able to have this. I will show you the process. You may need to pause the video a little. Anyway, we got this. But how is this related to the identity of reactive power? Actually, this is the active power and this is the reactive power. Before going into analyze them, I need to say something about these. When we say the voltage is V volts, do you think this is V? Actually, it's not. This value is square root 2 times V. And this rule is applied to current. I mean, if someone says I ampere is flowing, this value is not I, but square root 2 times I. So we can say this I am is equal to square root 2 times I, while Vm is equal to square root 2 times V. Do you think this rule is troublesome? If you think so, why don't you substitute these for these? If you try it, this will become 1 because square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. This will become 1 as well because of the same reason. So we will be able to have this. See? It looks simple. Okay, let's go back to our topic. We were revealing the identity of reactive power, right? So let's try to draw this active power. This is the graph. You can agree, can't you? This is constant and this is a wave that takes the value from 0 to 2. The amplitude of this is Vi cosine theta. The average of this yellow graph is also Vi cosine theta. I'll jot them down for you. What about reactive power? This is the graph. As you know, this is constant and this is a wave that takes the value from negative 1 to positive 1. So, the average is 0, 
and the amplitude is vi sine theta. Now we can say we have finished revealing the identity of reactive power. We are going to review what we have done. This is the electric power in a certain circuit, and we can divide it into these. We just used some operations in trigonometric functions, and this is active power. This is reactive power. What kind of role do they have? Active power is giving energy by vi cosine theta, while reactive power is not giving any energy in total, but it sometimes gives some energy in this time period, and it gets the same energy back in this time period. That is reactive power. I hope that you are able to understand reactive power clearly. Let's call it a day. See you in my next video.